Thanks for joining us. I'm Tiffany Chan with the WBZ News Update, our top stories. An East Bridgewater church vandalized and set on fire. Police say someone set the fire near the altar of the St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church, burning an altar cloth and a Bible. Police say more than one person may have been involved. There's also evidence that they stole from the church food pantry. And the man accused of taking off from a traffic stop in Brockton and dragging a state trooper will be held without bail in Definitely. Prosecutors say 31 year old Derek Lobo is the man behind the wheel in this dash cam video. When the officers try to remove him from the car, police say he took off with that trooper hanging on by the open door. The trooper was injured after being dragged and thrown into oncoming traffic. And a second suspect is now being charged with murder for a shooting that led to the death of a baby in Holyoke. John Luis Sanchez appeared in court by Zoom from his hospital bed yesterday. Prosecutors Prosecutor say Sanchez was wounded in a gunfight involving two other men on Wednesday. Now, during the fight, a stray bullet hit a pregnant woman on a bus. Her infant did not survive. Police are still looking for that third suspect. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning to you, Tiffany. Yes, we are going to be dealing with some showers today, courtesy of the remnants of Philippe and also a slow moving cold front kind of sandwiching us in between both of those rain chances. Locally, we actually have somewhat dry conditions, obviously a few light showers out there at the moment. Certainly some dense fog in other spots. If it's not raining, it's kind of misty outside. That's really going to be the story for the day today. So we'll call it lighter showers for the middle part of the state. A few heavier downpours from Philippe and also heavy rain from the cold front out to the west, Connecticut River Valley and into the Berkshires. That's what we're expecting today. Futurecast does a good job of kind of handling where we're expecting the dry weather. Again, not totally dry with the mist and fog, but at least the uh, really organized activity doesn't fill in until we get later into the afternoon, into the evening before this finally departs heading into Sunday. So our hour by hour forecast for today holds us into the upper 60s, mid 60s for most. We do have the off and on rain that we're going to be dealing with. Not a washout, certainly a soggy day, but not a washout of a day. Mid to low 60s for Sunday and Monday. Chance for rain heading into Tuesday, back into the middle 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Tiffany? All right, thank you, Jacob. I'm Tiffany Chan, and this has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.